Alrighty, boys and girls, here we go right into the knife round. CLG versus Liquid Moses. Let's get it on, baby. Woo, I'm exhausted from that camera work. Nicely done. My fingers are exhausted. Woo! <laughs> Let's go. Alright, looks like Liquid's gonna be able to pick up this knife round without too much of an issue there. Alrighty, so they should be picking the CT side. Inferno is the map of choice. Well, the map that was dictated by ESL and ESEA. So we will be seeing Liquid starting off on the CT side again. That's going to be a Drin, Flowsick, a Liege, Nitro, and Fugly, who I met in person. Not all that Fugly. CLG side is going to be JDM, <laughs> Hazed, Cutler, FNS, and Tarek. <laughs> Yeah, and Liquid's playing really well lately. Ever since they came back from Gfinity, they've been doing very, very well. They're on a four-map win streak, including some wins over Keed Stars, Ace Gaming, Nihilum twice. So playing very, very well. Getting to start on the CT side, too, of Inferno. Definitely going to bolster their chances at winning this one. In the early spot, though, Liege overextending himself at the B-bomb site. It's going to drop his hand early in this round. He is down and out. Man advantage for the CLG side. So off to a good start on their terrorist side in the first round. Now Fugly's going to go for the peek in mid, lays a couple of shots out onto Tarek. Look at Nitro. Yeah, and this is the big thing. I want to see Nitro go huge. He's going to be able to hear them all run past him in mid, tapping away. One, two, three. CZ75, the discipline with the 12-bullet clip, and he comes up huge for his team, picking up three big frags on the flank. He hears one more pushing in over towards the apartment hallways, and JDM's going to go ahead and drop down into pit. He's going to come under fire against Adren. They're both over on the truck side. JDM does have pit control. He's going to go ahead and pop some shots. Nitro again with the CZ75 trying to chip away. He's already got three to his name. Pushing in straight into the site, though. Flowsick finds the headshot on FNS. And Nitro's still alive with the CZ. I don't know how he hasn't died yet or how he hasn't run out of bullets. That might be an issue. He did. He just ran out of USP. He did a USP. So JDM, though, staying alive. No bomb plant, though. And this is going to be a round for Liquid, surely. JDM can do something miraculous. Nitro coming around from the apartment hallway. Flashbang at down into pits. Going to find JDM's eyes. He's down to 26 points of health. Still biding his time. Going for some jump shots. Doing a great job keeping these guys busy. But again, the story is going to be Nitro kind of jumping out through the halls. He's going to spot him out. Ooh, JDM finds another one. Can he get it done? He's only got six seconds to get the bomb and get the plant. And Nitro is going to execute the quad. Takes him down. Big round for Liquid to start things off on the back of Nitro's huge flank down mid. Yeah, big round for Nitro to get started. That's that's. I mean, that that flank was so it was so impressive. Those shots of the CZ, very well done, and that's huge. I mean, he's a player who we we've talked we talked up about the potential that we saw him have with iBet Power a couple ESC lands ago, and, and then he's kind of been a little bit silent since then. But you know, he's he's regained a lot of his confidence in this win streak that Liquid's had. He's been playing very well recently, so it's a good start for him, and look for him to have a big match off the back of that pistol round. Yeah, starting the onslaught early, picking up a 4K in the pistol round. We saw Nafli pick up an ace on liquid CT side, or terrorist side pistol round on train earlier. We see Nitro going big for his team. Without that 4K, they surely would have dropped that round. CLG in that opening pick. Big big investment in terms of weaponry. I mean, Deagle's armor, Tech 9 armor for CLG. JDM's the only one who hasn't bought anything. He wants to have that off on the fourth round. But there's no utility, there's no smokes, there's no flashbangs for CLG, so they're just going to have to win an aim battle to open things up. And it's going to be a pretty tall order for him going up against these SMGs and a couple of rifles that they have on the liquid side. Fugly boosted up on top of the boxes there. He has Cutler lurking around on the B site, but right now Nitro is stuck underneath the... Oh! Stuck on her porch until Hayes just de decapitates him. Hayes has been so strong with the Desert Eagle over the past couple of seasons. And again, it looks like they know that Adren is playing from Cubby. They're going to lay some shots out. He is going to go ahead and creep on out. Picks up one, two, and three. Good job from Adren there. Nitro had it in the pistol round, and now it's Adren's turn to chime in with a couple himself. He's going to go huge in this full anti-eco round from the liquid side. Cutler's still trying to lurk his way up. The bomb is going to join him in the top side of Banana. Fugly is the only one over in that area. He does have the MP7. He is going to be joined by a teammate. Elise is going to be able to find the head of Cutler. Takes him down, and Fugly pushing around from Spools. Cleans up the last man, and Tarek 2-0 for Liquid. Yeah, that was scary for a second. Once once that P90 goes down, I mean, that, that, was, that was very dangerous. That was the exact battle that CLG needed to win without the utility behind it. But actually, Flowsick, I mean, it... it 
broke up the crossfire that Nitro and, and, and Adren had, and Adren was in a very sticky situation, and Flosik, uh, smart move by him, pushes up lane and peeks, and, and re-establishes the crossfire. That's what, that's what let Adren be so effective, peeking out there, not getting overwhelmed early on, and now, very aggressive strategy from Liquid. They don't want to let CLG do anything. They're going to push down mid. They lose one. They lose a second, and now they fall back, but CLG manages that very, very well with no armor. And again, Hayes down on one HP. He's going to spot through the smoke, but Elysia is going to be on the other side of that to take him down. And it's going to be evened up on a three versus three. Adren in a familiar spot, going to spray away. He's not going to be able to find anything yet. Pop Flash goes out, but JDM is there to capitalize on that. Takes him out, so we're back to a 2v2. They do have the mid flank coming out from Elise. You did push down Banana, and they've got Fugly rotating around through their library room. Flashbang comes around the corner. JDM playing from the graveyard. FNS going to be behind the X Moto box. Molly in the pit, going to give away the positioning here from Elyse, but if JDM bides his time and plays this well, he's got the P90, he should be able to peek out and take down Elyse. He's going to be able to spot him, gets the shot off Fugly right around the corner. He's looking to pop some shots, but he's not going to make it happen. He's going to go for the chase, able to take down one. Can he clutch it out? He takes oh, down oh, the second Lord. FNS, and the defuse comes in, so saving the day is Fugly on the back of a 2K and a defuse, and Liquid is going to get that third round. Yeah, I mean, that aggressive strategy just didn't work out for him at all. CLG got out Swung a little bit wide earlier than, than Liquid was really ready for, and they got punished. So, great eco route from CLG. Bomb plant, four kills as well. That's going to hurt the economy of, of Liquid moving forward, and this puts us into a very precarious fourth round for for the CT side. Dren does have that AWP, though. Yeah, this is a must-win situation for Liquid if they want to continue to rack rounds together on their CT side and keep buying. This is really going to be on CLG, even if they don't win this round, to do as much economical damage as they possibly can and keep that money situation hurting on the CT side. We'll see whether or not they can do that here momentarily, as it is going to be a relatively default setup here for the terrorist side. Although, Banana Control has been Liquid's forte right now. As you can see, Fugly being very aggressive, pushing all the way down. They've got the smoke at the bottom of Banana, so they've established this Banana Control and really shut down any kind of a push that's going to be coming out from the terrorist side. The big question for me is how is JDM going to do with this AWP on the Terra side of Inferno? He's been so effective, he's been a huge player for, for CLG since they've been using him, but Terra side Inferno can be very, very trickers for oppers to get start tricky for oppers to get trickers? started. Yep, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Trick or treat. Whoopsies. All right, well, Adren is going to get fully blinded over here on the porch side, and Nitro as well, so there's the early frag. Tarek's going to find one. He takes down Elise, two. Flosick goes down, so this is detrimental to Liquid. Adren's got to come up huge. AWP frag onto one. He's going to be able to spot out another one. Not going to be able to locate that frag just yet. Pushing in, they are going to take him down. Hazed. Raining down death from above from the porch side. And that's really going to force Fugly to fall back and try to get himself out of the library and hold on to that rifle for the next round, but... 22 seconds left, the plant goes down. No hunt being issued just yet from the terrorist side. They do have four members alive, but a great statement from CLG on the first gun round. Yeah, really nice pop flash, and that porch spot now for Team Liquid hasn't worked out twice. But that, this is exactly what CLG needs. They need Tarek to get started early on those entry frags. Coming up mid, grabbing two quick ones. Very good work from him, and that'll need to keep up. Unfortunately, because of the damage that was done on the, on the economy of Team Liquid last round, this is going to have to be a save for them. So early on, CLG establishes a little bit of success on their T side. Let's see if Fugly can get out of this one alive. He's got two members encroaching on his area, but he hasn't yet yielded his position. And he is going to be able to get out with the M4. So good patience from Fugly, not trying to take a fight at the end of that round. And hanging on to that M4 for the next one. But Team Liquid giving up one already, and it's the first gun round going actually... counter logics. They could actually force by here if they, if they really, really wanted to, because Fugly could drop a Colt to Nitro or Elyse. They're not going to, though. They're going to play it a little bit safe. Well, we'll see if that safe bet pays off. They did pick up a couple of pistols, a CC-75 for Adren and a 5.7 for Inflosick. But a very good opening gun round for CLG there. Yeah, Tarek opened things up nicely, and that, that's good. They want him to get started early on, keep up that momentum. Nice pop flash over towards B. That's going to allow Fugly to peek. He doesn't see anything. CLG playing is very, very passively at the start of these rounds. Yeah, and again, we've kind of talked about the default setup with Cutler playing over here in Banana. Trying to keep him honest in that area. Tarek's going to be watching for any kind of a mid-push as well as JDM, who does have the AWP. Hayes going to be lurking in the halls. And FNS bringing up that bomb towards alternate mid. So we'll see what they decide to do on the CLG side here momentarily. So it is going to be an eco round for the CTs. They do have... Well, three still over in the B bomb site, so maybe thinking that they're going to favor falling back and hitting the B. 
as of right now, they're still staying relatively passive in middle on the CLG side. So burning a lot of time off the clock here. And that could bode well for the uh, liquid side on the gun rounds if they decide to drop some smokes late game. They don't have any smokes to work with, so it's going to be all up to this, this Well, I mean, on the gun rounds. Yeah. Um, well, here's the thing. CLG's being very cautious, but they haven't really scouted anything. I mean, they, they don't really have any intel. This could be a stack either in the A bomb site or at the B. They're going to send this one player in. That's FNS. He's going to be the one to see if there's a stack, and he finds it. So now the A hit is going to be on. Flosik pushes up, thinking it's a B hit completely, and it's not. So it's going to be a bomb site for CLG. Nicely done by them to scout that stack later on in the round, and, and this should just be a save from Fugly. He's going to turn right back around. Adren has an AK-47, so they're going to try and keep both these rifles in their hands moving forward. And it's all about how much CLG is going to dedicate to hunt these down, and it looks like they're going to dedicate everybody. Yeah, not a bad play from them, trying to get that economy, uh, keep it struggling on the liquid side. If they're able to save these two rifles, two guns that they don't have to buy in the next round. Tarek and Adren going to go to battle here in construction in just a moment. They are going to flood on in. Both members of the CT force are over there. They're going to flush Adren out. And Tarek takes them both out. Yeah, Tarek's using, a the cover. <laughs> using the cover of that uh, little piece of machinery. The lights. The old generator, yeah. Yeah, he's... I mean, that that, that, just, that just bodes well, really well for CLG. Even JDM with five kills now, uh, as well, is, is pretty big. And, and look at look at the buy. I mean, five smokes, five Molotovs for, for CLG. Um, you know, they've had a week off, so they could have put some practice in. They haven't played for Pro League in, like, nine days. And if they have this... If they start using these Molotovs efficiently to flush players out of position, that could be huge. It is another save round for Liquid, so... CLG with a nice opportunity to get up to 3-3, three to three, and that first kill helps. And this time, it's an A stack from Team Liquid. Yeah, and that quick push up towards the B bomb site, they actually throw a smoke over the top, so that's going to be a smoke that they no longer have at the A bomb site, but that's going to allow Adren to have a little bit of time to rotate over to try to hold this B bomb site with the CC-75. But again, that, that stack slowly working its way over towards the B bomb site now. You can see uh, both Nitro and Flowsick are going to make their way over there and just leave Fugly with the Nova up in apartment dark. And they're playing this the right way. It is going to be a hit towards B. But everything is smoked off. The CTs have no avenue to get in there and try to prevent a bomb plant. Flashbang does go over spools, and that allows them to push on through from CT, and there's the frags coming out. Not a bad job from Liquid in that situation, trying to make the best out of nothing. Yeah, that was actually a really cool pop flash from, from Adren. That could have gone better, but nicely done to get those two kills, do a little bit of damage. And Fugly with this shotgun, he looks like he's going to take up a, a nice angle. Close up here, right behind the logs, and just wait for the exits to come in. Maybe get a little bit of extra money his way. Maybe able to salvage an AK-47 for the next round. And let's see where CLG decides to exit from, because you've always talked about this in the past. Exiting as a team, obviously much more beneficial than exiting one by one. And Hazed is pushing out to Car now. And Fugly goes for the peak. He actually dinks him. Does a little bit of head damage there. Takes him down 60 points of health, but he's going to win that battle. So we will see it all tied up at three square as we come into the next gun round. And AWP immediately purchased and dropped for Adren. Yep, that was bought by Fugly off the back of saving uh, Sevia's rifle for around here. He had a lot of extra cash, so he drops that, gets a, gets an M4 in return. And I'm interested to see how the how the defense is going to adjust over at that A bomb site because early on CLG's done a great job of busting any stack, any pressure put onto brackets, you know, especially at the porch. It's a couple rounds, and there's Hayes with another entry kill. Yeah, and Adren Taking actually legged him. Completely. Yeah, Adren got the shot off. He just didn't hit him in the chest. If he would have gotten that opening pick, it would have been a completely different story for this round. But losing Adren literally five seconds into the round, and now CLG's I, this, this got free reign. Yeah, this is just huge, because this is, I mean, now they can, look at how they're slowing it down now. I mean, they're still so far back, they haven't dedicated themselves. They do have three in Banana, but they can go anywhere they want. The defense is split two to two, but just these rounds, so many, ever since the pistol round, you know, the entries have all been going the way of CLG. They've been opening up the rounds with kills every single time, and that's brutal. Team Liquid's got to put a stop to that moving forward. And we'll see if they can do that here momentarily. It does look like it is going to be a bit of a push towards the B bomb site. That smoke's going to hold them back a little while longer at B. Targ just patiently waiting here by car for his teammates to join up, and they are going to go for some Molotovs over the wall. Yeah, but this late, I mean, the Legion is rotating away from B. There's no reason for this. They haven't heard anything today, and, and it, Fugly has nothing. Fugly has no flashes to slow this down, no smokes or Molotov or anything like that. He's going to be all alone in a one-on-five. 
Oh, and he gets immediately entried on by Tarek, and that's going to just be a save now for the CT side. Yeah, Tarek just out shooting everyone at the moment. He's this been playing is... amazing throughout the season so far. Well, this is just a bad situation now for Liquid. CLG already with four rounds on the T side, and it's a dominant, dominating four rounds that they've had. Yeah, just pulling up the statistics right now for CLG, and on the season right now, Tarek has 33 more kills than the next player on his team. Hundred, uh, yeah, 102.7 ADR and a 1.015 FPR. That's what they need out of him. I mean, he's he's their playmaker. We've been saying it for seasons now. If CLG wants to do good, if they want to, if they want to get considered to be you know consistently in the, in the top of North America, I mean, they need Tarek to be playing this well, and they need it consistently. But I, I mean, the big thing too is even Hayes in this match so far has got some very very nice uh, opening kills over towards that B bomb site, and CLG's doing a good job early on of just breaking up any kind of positioning that that Liquid has. Yeah, and that's one of those things where they're getting these entry frags, and they are absolutely crucial. I mean, again, Adren dropping the AWP over the B-bomb site that early in the round. Just unnecessary risk that he took trying to op car. I understand that you want to get the early man advantage, but when it backfires, it's such a crushing thing to have happen to you. And Elise looked like he wanted to get aggressive at car. They're going to go ahead and nade Molly up to the top side of Banana to hold him honest. But three players now pushed out at B. So really, Liquid favoring this heavy B play. And honestly, one of these rounds, I, I just anticipate CLG going for a full brunt force push towards the A bomb site and try to catch him with only two members over there. It's very, I, that's very possible if they want to switch things up later on, but at the moment, to open this half up, they're playing it very slow, very methodical, staying far back and just slowly gaining map control. This time, I look at Adren, he's playing in the closet again, but he's the only one here. There's not even, he doesn't even have a teammate to set up a crossfire with. Elise just just comes over with them to do spray through the smoke, but four members here. Counterlogic Gaming has established some pretty good uh, control of brackets at the moment. Yeah, and again, they only left Fugly aggressive at B, and he's only got a Famas. He's got one player down around the corner that's been harassing that area. Elise throws the pop flash out. Adren's going to get Molly, and he drops a flash as well, and he's going to go to battle, but he's going to lose that battle. JDM finds one. Flosik finally gets one on the board for Liquid side, and that's going to be Haze down and out. But that bomb has been retreated all the way back down to the bottom side of mid, so it is going to be a B play again. And they're going to try to sneak one into CT spawn. That's going to be FNS going to battle with Elise. Elise is going to win that one, but JDM takes down Flowsick. So again, that leaves Fugly in a very difficult spot. He's all by his lonesome over at the B-bomb site, and Tarek through the smoke <laughs> finds him. So again, Tarek with the entry frags at the B-bomb site. Yeah, just just a blind spray through the smoke coming in. Had to get that kill, but that Molotov to force a dread out was absolutely beautiful. And now Elise only has 14 HP. They don't want to go for it. Nitro is so far away. It's a save call again. So CLG is going to grab their fifth. And Liquid's got to stabilize. They've got to stop giving up some of these early kills. And again, just a, a crucial, crucial round for CLG, and they come out on top. That's two gun round victories that they've had thus far in this matchup. And I mean, five rounds already on the terrorist side. That really is going to play pay dividends for them in the late game in this matchup because they're already establishing that terrorist side economy. They're already establishing that dominance on the terrorist side as well. And if they continue to string rounds together, Liquid is going to be in a very tough spot. Yeah, and this is what this is what CLG wants. I mean, they, they want to find these picks. They're not really an execution-based team. They, they want to find picks that, that's going to give their players, their playmakers, a little bit more room. Uh, to find opportunity to get into aggressive positioning and just ma and continue to just make plays as the round goes on. But, I mean, Liquid's just giving them far too many kills, spreading the defense out, and uh, CLG's playing just very, very well at the moment. Yeah, and again, if they continue to play like this, this is... I mean, they're 6-2 and two right now in the Pro League, and that's playing with basically JDM as a... I want to say he's going to be their... He's their dedicated fifth, but it's kind of like <laughs> he's their dedicated fifth at the moment. Because we still don't know what they're doing with their roster, but JDM, he's been stepping up consistently over the past couple of weeks, and he's been doing a great job as the op roll. And again, he's eight and four, eight or eight and three, eight and four for Hayes, eight and five for Tarek. So again, it's another situation where we're eight rounds in, and you got three players sitting at a one FPR on the winning team. We saw it in the Tempo Storm versus Luminosity matchup earlier when it was on cash. Liquid still favoring this just standard, typical default crossfire. Up at brackets, Adren on the wrap side, Nitro under porch. But Nitro's, Nitro's forced back, Hayes flashes himself out, and now Adren's blind on wrap side as well. The defense is continuously falling back, Hayes, or Flosik does win that fight, Adren gets one kill as well on wrap. So good wins for them, but Flosik is so low, 1 HP. 
But he's fortunate because they're trying to press on the rap side. Two members over in that area. They only have one that's going to go ahead and smoke things off. Tarek does manage to find one. FNS should go down here in a moment as well. And he does. Elise is going to be able to take him down. Cutler into the pit's going to be able to find Flo Sick. One HP down and out. No bomb plan yet. 15 seconds on the clock. Cutler's going to try to get the potato planted on the farm. But swinging out on him is going to be Elise. Takes him down. Cutler drops. And that's going to be Liquid picking up finally their fourth round. And it comes in the ninth. Shaky though. I mean, Flosick gets put down to one HP. If he if he dies, if he falls at, at balcony, if he loses instead of wins that fight by one HP, uh, that that defense can just easily collapse from there. So good opening win for him. Now it's all about stringing them together. They can't get they can't get their economy broken here. That would just catapult CLG to such a massive lead. So they really need to kill the momentum on the CLG side and stringing a couple of rounds together, which is absolutely necessary for Liquid at this point if they want to continue to have rifles moving forward. And again, the unnecessary... It pays off this time, but I feel like Liquid is being a little bit unnecessarily aggressive, and that nade does tremendous damage onto both Elysia and Fugly. One nade just dropped both of them to half health. Yeah, but they get away with the kill, so that's that's all they wanted. Now they fall back. Now they can turtle into the bomb site, and that's gonna hurt. I mean, look at the look at the offense now. It allows Flosick to get aggressive over towards Halls because they knew the numbers that were in Banana. So he takes the opportunity to find himself a pick, puts Liquid in a five on three. Nicely done by Flosick. Through the smoke though, on top of the hay car, JDM's gonna find a liege. They go ahead and resmoke off. Ugly playing behind this smoke. He's gonna get smoked off again. And JDM's trying to find his way through. Can't really find it just yet. He's actually just running around in circles. There is one on the CT spawn side. Now he's going to get flashed. So trying to equalize the numbers right now. JDM on the backside of the smoke is going to try to push on in. He's got one to beat at New Box. Camera switching away at the most inappropriate time. We're going to follow in the eyes of Fugly right now. JDM has gotten himself into water. They double smoke off the CT spawn. Molotov to New Box. That's going to flush out one player. And Tarek's going to be able to take the fight. So now they've opened up into this bomb site. And Adren is all by his lonesome. Both members rotating around. One's going to be coming from Banana, one coming from the CT spawn. Adren stuck in back halls. He doesn't really have much to do at the moment. It is a three on three post plant. Cutler at 8 HP. Very tough situation for him, but they've got double up in, at an emo and Tarek playing from water. So we'll see whether or not the CLG side can hold on. That need right at the feet of Tarek takes him down to 35. Flow 6 should be able to pick up this kill. Nope. And JDM swings on Adren, so it's all up to Nitro in a one versus two. And this crossfire is going to be way too strong. What a round from CLG. So patient taking that B bomb site. They get into water. Even with two players, they're using the Molotovs to flush out flush players out of positioning behind the boxes. I mean, this is stuff we haven't seen out of CLG ever before. So they took that the nine days break from Pro League and they put some work in. And it's showing here, being very, very efficient, very effective on their bomb site takes. Yeah, they uh, The first two picks went the way of liquid. CLG had no right winning that round. It just came down to the one-on-one -on -one battles, and they won every single one of them. There oh, you go. A, a little bit of life out of a leash. I heard that one from a mile away. The, the unscoped AWP pistol being put to work. Flosa going to pop some shots from the porch side. Not going to be able to find a kill, but he is going to be able to find a couple of players in that area and tag up Hazed a little bit. Now they're going to get fully aggressive, and Tarek with two. He spins around. There's another one in the smoke. That's going to be Adren. Tarek does have seven HP. If Adren pushes this, he should be able to pick him off, and he does. He goes for the trade. Nitro finds one as well, so they do pick up a couple of rifles, and they do have the man advantage now on the on the CT side of Liquid. So not a bad eco round thus far. No, not at all. All opened up off of that, that kill by Elyse, and now they're going to come back towards B, so Elyse is going to have another chance Make a really good play. No rotations yet. Edred is actually in CT spawn. He's actually very close. No smoke either, but FNS takes out a leash. The B bomb site's open. Edren's going to be there, but JDM peeks, catches him off guard before planting the bomb. So they handle that very well. It's just down to Nitro. He's so far away. No kit. He might just want to save this AK. Yeah, at this point, that's going to be the smart play, but Counter Logic Gaming picking up another round, and that's just. They're dumb. The thing is, is they're just keeping that money situation so bad on Liquid's side that even if Liquid wins, they have to win two or three in a row just to continue to maintain their buys. CLG is doing such a strong job keeping them on the back burner, not allowing them to continually pick up these rifles, and that's why they're having such a tremendous half. They're up 7-4 to four right now going into the 12th round, and that's just that's a huge scoreline moving forward. Yeah, and they look, at, look at JDM. He's got $14,000 in his pocket. So, you're exactly right. Team Liquid's got a long way to go to break the economy to try and get these rounds back in his favor. But Nitro, salvaging that AK, is going to be able to drop a weapon for a Dren who's who only has 3700 So he's going to buy armor. He's going to get dropped a, a rifle. 
So that 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 save of the AK comes in huge for for Team Liquid. Yeah, they will have a full buy, but again, Adren without the AWP, that's been such a crutch for the for the Liquid side, getting that scoped rifle into his hands and letting him do work with it. He is a very strong Alper, especially back from his uh, back from his early days on the I by Power Squad, before you had like your Skadoodle. But again, look at this. They're just going up banana with no smoke in the area, and Elise is going to come under fire. He's peeking out the pop, popping shots, and he's not going to be able to find it. Tries to go for the wall bang, flash bang over the top of spools, and they are going to try to make the push, and Cutler takes him down. And that's going to leave Fugly in a one versus God knows how many at that B bomb site. And he's going to go for the peek. He does manage to find one, but JDM trades him out instantaneously, spams the smoke with the Tech 9, and finds some damage onto a Trent, actually. Molly holds him back. Smokes come in as well. JDM getting tapped down through the smoke, though. Adren, nice shots from him. Yeah, grabs that grabs that angle. Is able to take him down. So that's going to even things out. Three to three. Two kits on the side of Liquid. A lot. Whoever's going to win this battle, Lake Flowsick or FNS. FNS takes it. So that's a huge advantage for CLG now. And Liquid is stuck behind this smoke and main. They're going to have to save here. Nitro does get Haze trying to push through the smoke. He spams Tarek <laughs> down very, very low, but not enough time to clear everything out and get the defuse in. Just CLG just posturing so well in post plant, forcing Liquid to save so many times this half. I mean, eventually Liquid they've got to get they've got to get these rounds, so they're gonna have to start going for these. They can't just continuously save like this. Yeah, that's that's just that's the thing right there is that how many rounds have we seen them save so far? We've gone through twelve rounds so far, and out of those twelve rounds, I think maybe five have been full out Liquid saves, two or three man saves. Yeah, they, they really, they can't afford to do that anymore. I mean, I understand the thought the, the thought process behind it, but, but they can't. They have to get rounds now. Eight, eight rounds for CLG. Someone's going to have to make a play on one of these retakes that's going to give them an opportunity instead of them instead of them saving. And another triple push towards Banana. Two players over at Sandbag. Smugly's caught in the open, but he does Deagle Haze down. Yeah, that flash was just in the nick of time. And now the M4 of Adren's going to go to work, takes down Cutler. So again, the opening picks go in the way of Liquid, but you know what happened the last time that they got two opening frags? They turtled up and ended up losing that B bomb site in the long run. So again, it's just one of those things where they have to capitalize on this early man advantage. And yeah, that's they, exactly he, what they needed to do, is throwing that smoke to the top side of mid. Or top well, side of banana. Leash got a gun yeah. out of it. Yep, that's what I was just going to say. That's the important part. Now they're going to Molotov off sandbags. And they pop flash a leash. They, they're getting through it, but that Molotov slows them down. No rotation yet from Team Liquid over towards the B site. And this is basically all that CLG has left. No map control towards mid, so they're they're stuck into this execute on the B site. But Fugly is so incredibly low. It's just a deagle. Leash has got a lot of work to do. He gets smoked off. It's going to be Fugly all alone. Pop flash around the corner, though, is going to blind him out. And that's going to leave Fugly with the clear line of sight on the FNS, who's not able to execute the frag. Oh, my goodness. But he ends up picking up two in the long run, and Adren sweeps the last one under. At least went through the smoke and ended up right in front of FNS. <laughs> yeah, but importantly, importantly, Fugly does very, very well. Manages with that Deagle in the low HP. Gets a nice one more one Deag, and then cleans up another kill. So Liquid kind of steals one on a, on a little bit of a force buy there from CLG, but so much money. CLG's got a great buy, and Liquid with five rounds. They're looking to, I mean, they got to get these last two. They got to get up to seven here. And winning this round for Liquid, this would actually finally break the economy at Elyse. With that continuous pressure on Banana, they haven't gone away from it no matter how many times it's actually backfired on them. They're still sticking to it, and Elyse finds the opening kill there. And again, it's going to be a matter of whether or not Liquid can capitalize on that early man advantage. Now they've got Adrin playing aggressive in the apartment hallways. He's going to spot the hip of Hayes, but a nice shoulder peek from him is going to yield that area to his uh, avail. And that's going to force Adrin to burn a smoke. There's a Molotov to try to hold him back in mid. That's going to split FNS from his teammate Tarek up there, but he does have Haze in the boiler room pushing up now towards the apartment side. And we'll see if CLG can make anything happen out of this round, pardon me, as it is still a man advantage for Liquid. A leash at 58 HP, but still alive. Two players at the B-bomb site. Pretty typical standard setup here for the CTs. And now FNS is going to go to battle with one member of Liquid. That's going to be Nitro. And then Flow Sick peeks out and finds the other two in mid. And it's all on JDM, the AWP. He's got 30, 32 seconds to work with and a whole lot of CTs to kill. Yeah, he's just going to save this, though, because the economy is done uh, for CLG after this round. They finally, they Liquid has finally broken through it. 
So it's going to be a very, very weak buy for the rest of CLG and JDM saving that AWP would go a huge way. And I'm actually surprised that Liquid isn't dedicating one or two people towards trying to hunt this gun down. Yeah, he's been playing so well with it. He's 13 and 6 so far in the half, predominantly with that AWP. And now they've got a couple of players putting pressure down on the bottom side of mid, but time expires and there's not going to be enough time to hunt him down. Nitro's trying to make a bid at it. But that is going to be an AWP moving forward into the next round, and they should have a... Well, it's going to be a decent buy from the terrorist side. It's not going to be exactly what they want for the last round, but again, a Galil and AK, a couple of Tech Dines, and that salvaged AWP from the last round. So, again, we'll see whether or not they can capitalize on that. Adren does have the AWP as well. He's top fragging for Liquid, 12 and 10. Importantly as well, CLG picks up three Molotovs, and they have two Smokes to work with as well. So we've seen their Molotov play has been, has been pretty good this, this half. Helping them, helping them get some opening kills by forcing players away from aggression, forcing liquid players out of their out of their positions. And JDM just walks up mid and wins the all battle against Adrin. And I think something to point out too is Nitro is sitting on ten kills right now, four of which he got in the pistol round. So he's been quiet throughout this matchup. FNS and Hayes going to combine to take down the remaining two CTs over there in that A bomb site. And JDM, or pardon me, Tarek with the salvage dog not going to be able to find the shot. But JDM is going to be able to find one fugly down and out, and now it's all on a leash. So this this force-up buy here from the terrorist side of CLG does pay off for him in the long run. He's just going to be able to find another one over there in mid. Nate around the corner. He's got to go to battle with Hazed, and Hazed is going to win that one. So a 9-6 halftime score in favor of CLG. Yeah, and CLG that last round. I mean, this was a uh, this was some this was a good terrace half that that CLG just put together. JDM gets that opening pick onto a dread, and they just take the liberty to march up rap side. He even hazed over towards uh, the other side of the A bomb site, just with the tech nine grabs a kill, and they just decimate that defense. So uh, CLG just seemed like they they were at a point where they could just grab whatever they wanted, whatever they wanted it. And they really smacked Liquid in the mouth, and it's going to take another big big terrace half for for Liquid to come back. How many eco rounds did we see for Liquid in the first half? Four? Five? Well, actually, it wasn't that many because they saved they saved rifle so much. They didn't go for too many retakes early on, so they were able to fall back. And I mean, you can call them eco rounds, but they they went into the next rounds with usually at least at least three rifles and, and bought well, some armor pistols or. Let's call it non-full gun rounds. I don't know a decent amount, but that, that's the thing. That's that's how, what CLG did so good. They controlled the economy of of Liquid. Perfectly. I mean, Liquid even made the economical decision to not force buy uh, one round very, very early on. They chose to save twice instead of force buying uh, just so they could have full utility, just so they can get an AWP in Adren's hands, and it didn't work out for them. CLG was still able to just march over it uh, and control the economy, so nicely done. Nice terrace half from CLG. All right, so we are going live into the second half pistol. This is the first map between these two teams in their doubleheader this evening. So again, we're going to be seeing CLG now on the CT side. Can they lock it down? Can they pick up the pistol round and put themselves to a potential 12 to 6 score line? It's going to be pretty amazing. Well, they actually, I mean, they had a, they had a great pistol round as, as Terrace as well, and it looked like they were poised to take that one, but it was just Nitro with that huge play. Like you said, he got four kills that round coming out of mini pit uh, down middle. All right, so again, we're going to be seeing a little bit of slow play from the Liquid side, favoring the B-bomb site. All five members over here ready for this push, but it's a three-man stack from the CTs of CLG. Maybe they've been watching some demos from the Liquid side and know that they favor that B-bomb site in their pistol rounds. They do have a couple of flashes and some smokes. They're going to go ahead and flash around the corner, drop a smoke in towards CT spawn, and that push is now coming out. Popping shots from Spools. It's going to be Cutler. He draws first blood, and now pushing on around. It's going to be Elise who finds one. Switches from burst to... Single fire, and he's going to be able to spin around and find a second one. But FNS in the back of the site, he's got to go for a reload. He's going to be able to take down one, takes down another one. He's got one more to beat, and that's a trend, and he gets it done on the back of a triple. FNS going huge. Yeah, what a round. FNS is such a playmaker for this squad. Not always at the top of frags, but he comes up huge when they need him, and that was one of those rounds. And a nice stack. Liquid not, not able to sense it, not able to find it out, hitting that B site into three CLG players. With a couple nice crossfires. I mean, the positioning just allowed for crossfires in so many different situations. CLG, that's uh, that's that's huge for them. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, up four rounds now. They do have the economy rolling in their favor now. You can see a couple of SMGs, uh, MP9 for JDM. If you can pick up some frags, it'll definitely put that AWP in his hands. And a tad bit earlier. No bomb plant for the liquid side, so they opt to go for some armor and pistols. And again, putting pressure over towards the B-bomb site. F smoke comes out, and that's going to hold him back. They're just going to charge right on through it. 
And this is going to be on Tarek and FNS to hold it down. Tarek going to go for the spray down. FNS as well. And they are going to clean things up. FNS finally falls at the end of the round. That is going to be Tarek picking up a triple of his own, or a double of his own. FNS with the triple. Again, back-to-back -back 3K rounds for FNS over in that B bomb site. B is on lockdown. Yeah, now, I mean, this is a huge advantage for CLG because we saw how much damage they did on their eco rounds of Team Liquid in the first half, and Liquid not able to get anything going there, even with a little bit of investment. So, CLG has a real stranglehold in this match so far, and they're using Molotovs better than I've ever seen them using before. They really put some work in on that during their break. And again, no armor. A full Glock save here from the terrorist side of Liquid. They didn't even invest anything more than $1,000 in this round. And that's just off of the pistols that they're holding. So we'll see what they decide to work. They're just turtled up here at T-Ramp, waiting for that smoke at the bottom of B to fade. Maybe going to try to push on in there. Flosik did make his way up towards mid, but he's not going to be able to find anything in that area. And they re-smoked the bottom of B. So good defensive hold here. Looking to come out. Tarek's going to come under fire. What does he have for us? And now the Nova. Hey, he's high. One, two, and three. He's going to go for the peak. He's got a Drenid. Logs. He's going to try to pop some shots on the Fugly. Takes him down as well. Could it be a shotgun ace? <laughs> he went for six. <laughs> he gets it anyways. Nice round from Hazed. He got the ace plus one. He's like, all right, Tarek. You're not stealing my ace. I'm just Get blasting you in the back here. of the head. <laughs> That's what happens when you try and steal a man's ace. You get punished. <laughs> That's the first Pro League six kill round we've seen. You know they gotta be having a chuckle and uh and mumble over that one. Yeah, it's easy to chuckle about that when you're when you're playing this well. Look at Tarek's position. He's up at bench. He's gotta be careful though. I mean, this is a spot Flosik could, could very easily pre-fire it, and he does. Tarek lays a dink, but he loses the battle, so a five on four for Liquid, but Cutler quickly evens things up. Yeah, good trade there from the CLG side. Tarek was in a pretty ballsy position there. He's just gonna find one over at B, but Nitro's gonna be able to trade him out immediately afterwards. Three on three situation right now. One thing we didn't mention with that with that shotgun ace that Hayes has, I mean, look at his money. He's got ten thousand dollars. I mean, that, that's yeah. huge. I noticed somebody uh, CJA TV in chat pointed out he's got eleven thousand dollars at the beginning of the round just off of that alone. Forty five hundred dollars in shotgun kills. Yeah, but FNS is going to be busy here pretty soon, and he doesn't have any utility to work with. No counter flashes, no smoke, no Molotov whatsoever, and. The CLG defense of the A bomb site is so far away, so if FNS doesn't do some work here, this might just be a full save. Yeah, he's going to have to come up absolutely huge. He's done it twice already, and there it is. There's one, and he does some great damage on a Nitro. He's going to go for the peak, calls for the backup from his teammates. He's going to go ahead and get mollied off as well. So that bomb will get planted by the Liquid side, but FNS doing a great job holding this bomb site yeah. and keeping them at bay for that rotation to come in. Uh, this is brilliant play from FNS. Just grabs that kill, does some damage. He could have swung and gone for a second, but he plays it smart, waits for his teammates to come in. Now it's a great opportunity for him. Adren's on spindles. He wins that battle versus FNS. Now he's got to swing around. He's got to help Nitro out. He's only at 11 HP. Adren throws a pop flash in the air, but he gets pushed from behind. JDM grabs him. Two kits left on CLG. It's all down to Nitro, but he gets Molotov out of his position, and he falls. So CLG's going to win that with a nice retake. Yeah, and good use of their uh, utility nades late in that round, holding on to the Molotovs, holding on to the incendiaries, and using it to flush out some players. And again, JDM coming around from the construction side, catching Adren with a nade out. Beautiful play from him, well-timed. And then that Molotov back to Emo. You saw how low Nitro was. And that just insult to injury at that point. So again, 13-6 to is going to be your scoreline. Seven rounds the difference right now in favor of CLG, and they are putting in work on their CT side. I mean, they're, they're, they put work in on their T side as well. This is a really, a really good form we, we, that CLG's in at the moment. This is more patient than I've ever seen them on their retakes, on their, on their executions in the first half. All right, so we are going to be seeing a Tarek again, taking a peek from the hay cart. 
And immediately, FNS going to go ahead and fall back. They're sniffing out this push towards the A bomb site. There is slot control right now. And Cutler comes under fire over in the graveyard, but he's not going to be able to find anything just of, as of right now. Hayes does have 40 HP, but FNS already rotated over towards that A bomb site to try to bail out his teammates. So all of this control at the top side of mid for Liquid has gotten them absolutely nowhere. Yeah, CLG has, I mean, has the rap side smoked off, and you're exactly right. Now there's going to be a pop flash through this smoke. FNS, it's just as the smoke is fading as well, there's a gap, he grabs one, he grabs a second one, nicely done. JDM even with the AWP chiming in. And one more player, Cutler, getting aggressive. And they're mowing this down, it turns down into a one-on-one, -on -one, so Fugly comes out on top. He's only got 7 HP, Terex rotating over to the A site, and he's got a Molotov, and this Molotov could end Fugly's dreams very, very quickly, but... Terex just got out of the moment, Fugly with a beautiful shot, saves the round. What a huge round from Fugly. The 180 spray down on JDM in the top side of mid, and then finishing it off with a exclamation point with that two tap to the face of Tarek. What a round from Fugly. He need they needed that. Yeah, I mean that was actually, I mean Liquid, great trading with them up mid. It came, I mean that that trade by Flowsick was absolutely huge. But that was a that was a great defense by CLG by by every by all rights. I mean they had the advantage. They should have come out on top. But just some nice shots from Flowsick bring it back, and then obviously. Or sorry, was that Fugly? Was what Fugly? That, that, for some reason, never, never mind. What, that won the last round? Yeah, for some reason it just lost at the Fs, and Nitro gets that entry kill over towards B. Terex in a lot of trouble, he drops that Molotov, falls back a little bit, able to spray down one, he gets a second one, and he burns a third! Huge stand from Terex there. Yeah, that couldn't have gone better for him in that situation. Obviously, he would have wanted to get all five of them, but necessarily, uh, you know, necessity is kind of... I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, he gets the three entry frags into that bomb site, and really, that gives his teammates a lot of time to rotate over, too. So, they're going to try to make their way in, and now it's a crossfire. Fugly's all the way back there in Banana, so he's going to have some work cut out for him, and those nades just going to rain in on Flow Six Parade in the backside of that site. Fugly finds one and a second one. He's been playing great the last couple rounds. JDM chimes in with another. They did throw the Molotov on top of the bomb, and Fugly's going to go ahead and drop the flashbang over the top. He's not aiming through the smoke. Oh, one tap. Another 3k for Fugly. That's seven in the last two rounds, and Liquid making up a little bit of ground. Yeah, and they needed someone to, to show up and come big for him, because it, CLG was really starting to run away with that. Fugly's going to play the hero for those two rounds. Now they've broken the economy of CLG, and they can bring this back. But just huge, huge plays from Fugly in both those rounds. I, that, and even that stand from Tarek, I mean, that was unreal. That three-man stand with, with the Molotov, so... He almost saves it for his team, but but Fugly just comes up too big. Great nade over the top side of Banana. Oh, they find another one, and FNS is going to be in trouble. And just like that, that B bomb site is open. What a great idea for Adren to pick up the SMG in this round to try to get a little bit of extra money in the bank, as it is going to be an eco round here. So he does pick up a SMG kill, so that's going to put a little bit extra cash flow in his pocket. JDM, the last man standing, going to go all the way back around to a balcony. And try to make something happen here in mid. Flosick going to be able to sniff that out. Takes him down. Nine rounds now for Liquid. Don't call it a comeback. Well, they're on the harder, harder, harder half. So CLG still has a great advantage here. And actually, they're they're playing. They're doing this actually really, really smart. CLG instead of instead of force buying full out, they're going to pick up some armor. They're going to pick up some pistols and a shotgun. See if they can do some damage to Liquid. See if they can bring dwindle their numbers down, dwindle down that economy, and just save for for a really strong buy in the next round. All right, so again, we're going to see another eco round from the CLG side. So Liquid making up some ground here in the last couple of rounds. They've got three in a row, potentially four, if they're able to execute this anti-eco properly. they got to be careful because Cutler is playing aggressive here in apartments with that Mag-7. That is the most beat-up Mag-7 I have ever seen in my life. I like it, the bulldozer. Don't they have one for the uh, MP9? MP9, yeah. It's yeah, Chris J. Yeah, yeah Chris that's J. what it was. Yeah. <laughs> I think he used that exclusively for an, an entire half. And had like 75 kills with it. It's nuts. FNS though, turning around at the wrong time, gets pop flashed out. Nitro, good job from him. It's going to be the opening kill that the, uh, the Liquid side was looking for. Moving forward in this round. And again, Cutler with that mag 7. He's got flow stick around the corner. He's going to pop a shot. Well, he hits him for 11. But now they know that Cutler's got that Mag-7 in apartment halls, and they got to play this one carefully. That bomb is actually working all the way up, and look at this flank play from Hayes, able to get one. Unfortunately, not able to pick off Fugly as well, and now they're going to go for the pinch on the B-bomb site. JDM all by his lonesome in the backside of the site, playing from New Box. 
And that's going to be Nitro and Fugly trying to work their way in. And is going to join them very shortly. And JDM, he's got a lot of work ahead of him here. Tarek finds one. JDM going to going to war with Nitro. Not able to get it done. Drops him so low. The Tarek picks up a Galil as well. Ten seconds on the clock. Bomb finally planted. Adren watching for that banana flank to come out. Cutler's going to move in from CT spawn, but the long range on that Mag-7, what could he possibly do from this area with that rifle? Go for exits. Go for exits. That's all he wants at the moment. Just holding this angle. Going to try and get one more. And this is, this is what this buy. I mean, it wasn't necessarily to, to win. That would have been great, but it, it was to dwindle the economy of Team Liquid. And if, if he can get one or two on the exit here, that would be huge. But fortunately for the shotgun, they're going towards Banana. It's going to be all on Tarek with the Galil. What's he got for us? He got nothing. He misses all of his spray, but Liquid's taken so incredibly low. Oh, and Nitro almost perishes with the bomb. He's down to one HP. <laughs> Fugly with nine. But they do manage to hang on to all three of those rifles at the end of that round. So, again, that's going to bolster the economy. Fugly sitting at 9,100 at the beginning of this buy. Oh, they wasted the Mag-7. Wouldn't call it a waste, but they've got an op now in JDM's hands. And he had a good spot. He could have peeked mid if he would have liked. There's no op in the hands of Liquids. They haven't employed it on the terrorist half at all. But it's been working out for their positive so far as they've racked up five, four rounds in a row, bringing it back to a three-round differential between them and CLG. Yeah, and he's going to play it in halls, so not trying to get too much of an early pick, just waiting to see if anyone's going to come up those stairs. Cutler's also boosted up on the top of porch. A position that hasn't really been utilized so far in this matchup, but... Again, that harassment going on over the B bomb site, and that's going to be Tarek and FNS trying to hold on to, the, hold on to that area. And there's the smoke from FNS. They did bait it out a little bit before one uh, one minute left on the clock. So, pretty early for them to get that smoke out as well for the liquid side. Yeah, but Tarek's got another smoke with him as well, and FNS FNS is fully out of utility actually. So you're right, it is pretty low. Hayes does have a smoke over towards CT spot, and he's on a quick, or not a smoke, he's a Molotov at a couple flashes. He'll be on a quick rotate. He's really, this is a real big lean towards the B bomb site. I mean, there's there's not a whole lot you can do from that position. Now he switches it up a little bit, but he can still get isolated easily by a smoke, and Liquid's going to take that bracket control, and it's where do they go from here? You're seeing the smokes come on the wrap side, so Hayes might be under a lot of pressure here. Let's see what JDM can do here from the gar uh, from the graveyard side. He's going to spot out one, gets the shot fugly down. That's a big frag for him. He's going to find Adrenaline. That's going to leave it all on Flowsick, who gets dinked up and taken down from Cutler. What a stand at that A-bomb site. Hayes, the only one to take any damage. Yeah, and Hayes actually played that wonderfully, just dodging back and forth between that pillar. It, it made it so hard for Liquid to get a clean shot on him, and he rattles off two uh, before they can cross, cross arches over into that A-bomb site. So nicely done from him. Good defense from CLG. And now this is a huge round for Team Liquid. If they can't win this one, their economy's broken, and that'll put CLG on match point. And this is a must-win round for them. Do you know what the next map is? I'm not going to say it. I think I do. Okay. What is it? Oh, it's train. Oh, boy. Get to see some more train tonight. I, did, I didn't want you to bust out your train whistle. That's why. I, that's oh, why I said that's why you said you didn't want to say it. Well, JDM's going to go ahead and open things up. He's already done 184 damage in the round, legging Elysian, taking down Fugly. So a great start to the round for CLG, and a horrible start to the round for the Liquid side. Yeah, that's that's a brutal pick. There's that enemy coming to play. Elysian so incredibly low now. So they circle around towards B. Tarek's actually playing aggressively at the car. It is still smoke deep. But he's got to live. He's got to be able to fall back. He can't get stuck in a gunfight where he can't get away. And he's playing it smartly. Like, I mean, he's just spotting this, and he's ready to fall back as soon as he sees things come through. And there's a pop flash. There's a Molotov, and he immediately runs. Smart play from him. That's going to allow FNS to rotate over and set up a good defense. Here comes the execution out of the B-bomb site. So it is Tarek. He's in the back. FNS gets smoked off, but he jumps on top of the spindle. Couple players very low. Tarek gets mollied out of position. He's able to grab one. He grabs a second one as well. Nitro not able to land the shot. Flosick does straight off Tarek, but now it's FNS behind the smoke. He gets spammed right through it. Nicely done by Adren. That's going to allow Liquid to get the bomb planted. Very, very late on the round timer. Seven seconds as this goes down. But Adren misses his spray. The smoke clears. Allows Hayes a free shot. One on three for Flosick. And they know exactly where he is. 
It's too tall of a task. He's going to fall to Cutler. So good retake again by CLG. And they're going to go up 15 to 10. And the bomb plant's going to help Liquid out a little bit. But their economy is still just beat up. So again, it's going to be a 15 to 10 scoreline. CLG in the driver's seat once again. And like you said, that bomb plant is going to be able to yield them somewhat of a buy here. They should be able to get at least three AKs. Uh, Desert Eagle for a leash. He's been hitting some pretty nice shots with that so far in the match. So not really uh, too terrible of a pistol buy for him. And Adrin's going to be resigned to the Tech 9. So again, it's going to be against a full, full arsenal from CLG. And again, JDM top fragging for his side at 22 and 12. 21 and 18 for Tarek as well. You know, he's the in, one of their entry fraggers, and he's been doing a great job, on the, especially on the terrorist side, opening up that B-bomb site. Interesting defense from CLG. Once again, Hayes with that B-lean, so the rap side's a little bit weaker. He was great on this defense with the same play, but now he just gets flat-out smoked off. He's got to rotate around. A lot of pressure on Cutler and JDM, but JDM with the AWP finds one, gets blinded. Fugly jumps out of the pit, gets the offer, and... Now it's quickly down to a 2-on-2, two -two, but FNS is already there doing damage to Elyge. Elyge can't get into Graveyard safely, so it's all on Fugly's shoulders. And we saw him have a miracle clutch as a, in the last, uh, earlier on in this half, but... Yeah, this should be easier. He's got 32 more health. <laughs> not, not that time. He had a spray down one, but he can't go that...